This one day, this one day, there is one day. Thank <laughs> you. 
rather stand a doorkeeper at the threshold of the house of my God than to live at ease, live at ease in the tents of wickedness. One day spent in your house, this beautiful place of worship beats thousands of days spent on Greek island beaches. That was from the message. New living your living says, I would rather be the one who opens the door of the house of my God than to live in the tents of the sinful. And of course, the passion says that just one day of intimacy with you in your temple courts is like a thousand days of joy rolled into one. I'd rather stand at the threshold in front of the gate beautiful, ready to go in and worship my God and to live my life without you in the most beautiful palace of the wicked. Father God, now, we come before your throne to bring you grace and glory, all the grace you poured upon us. We just lavish it back on you, God, and all your glory as you've given the glory of the world that we see every day in the sunrises and the sunsets and the mountains. Everything that you've made that you've given to man. Stand in awe of only one thing, God, and that is we stand in awe of you. We give you all the praise and the glory. Just speak to us today through your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Psalm 84, verse 1. How amiable are your tabernacles. How friendly are your hosts. How lovely are your dwelling places, O Lord of hosts, O Lord of heaven's armies. How deeply loved are your dwelling places, Adonai of Sabah, the Lord of the heavenly hosts, Commander of Heaven's Armies, God of the Angel Armies, O Lord of all. How beautiful are the places where you live, O Lord of all. How beautiful are your tabernacles, gentle of hosts. God of Heaven's Armies, you find so much beauty in your people. They're like lovely sanctuaries in your presence, the beloved of your presence. See the place of the God of heaven's armies, you find so much beauty in your people. They're like lovely sanctuaries of your presence, oh Lord. You find so much beauty in your people, Lord. They're like lovely sanctuary of your presence. Lord, 
Swallow builds a nest for herself and raises her young, even on your altars, O Lord of hosts, Lord Almighty, my King and my God. Just as a sparrow and a swallow finds a place to lay her young, I too seek your altars, my King, my God, Commander of Heaven's armies. As the sparrow finds herself a home in the swallow of her nest, where she lays her young, so my resting place is by your altars, Adam and Sabbath, my King and my God. O oh Lord of Heaven's armies, my King and my God, even the sparrows and swallows are welcome to build a nest among your altars for the birds to raise their young. Blessed are those who dwell in your house. They will still be praising you. How happy are those who can live in your house, always singing your praises. How happy are those who live in your house. They never cease to praise you. They never cease to praise you. Sing. What joy for those who can live in your house, always singing your praises. They are constantly praising you. And the passion says, What pleasure fills those who live every day in your temple, enjoying you as their worship in your, as they worship in your presence. Enjoying you. We have a heart and ability. We will 
His heart is set on the journey. He's not afraid of the journey. He's not afraid to begin and start the journey. So his heart is set. His heart is set on the journey. Worshiping you in the journey. Happy are those who are strong in the Lord, who set their minds on the pilgrimage to Jerusalem. Joy for those who strength comes from the Lord. 
they have set their minds on the pilgrimage to Jerusalem. They have set their hearts and minds on the pilgrimage. And our prayer today for those that are going experiencing verses 6 and 7, that they would take comfort along their journey on their pilgrimage right now. Comfort and strength of the Lord. Verse 6. As they pass through the valley of Baca, the valley of weeping, they make it a well, they make it a spring. The rain also fills the pools, covers it with pools of blessings. When they walk through the valley of weeping, Baca, it will become a place of refreshing spring where pools of blessing collect after the rains. Even when their paths wind through the dark valley of tears, you dig deep to find a pleasant pool where others find only pain. He gives them a brook of blessing filled with the rain of an outpour. Verse 7. They go from strength to strength increasing in victorious power. Every one of them appears before God in Zion. There the God of all gods, the God of all gods, shall be seen in Zion. They will continue to grow stronger, and each of them will appear before God in Jerusalem, Zion. Everyone meets with God. Everybody sooner or later is Worshippers with their heart make it a place of sweetness and comfort. Everybody sooner or later will pass to the valley of weeping. Worshippers will make it a place of sweetness and comfort. Worshippers bless you to his valley, still full of place of springs and fountain, and you will learn. Even in the valley of weeping worshippers, but let's sing it right out of passion. You give us the brook of blessing, filled with the rain of our pouring river, even though it is through the dark valley of tears. You give us a brook of your blessing, filled with the rain of your outpouring Thank you. 
Seals are glistening in the sun. Our faces are shining with your gracious anointing. Behold, O oh God, our seal to look upon your face. This is your commission for us. Look upon your face. Your grace is anointing, Lord. Yeah. Your anointing will our faces, our faces shining. With your grace is anointing. Yeah. I see your faces shining. He is anointed you, and your face is shining with his gracious anointing of the word. The word stands alone, the word stands by itself. Yeah. Our face is shining with your gracious anointing. Let me thank you for the reminder, Lord. Oh God, Lord of hosts, in you. Verse 10. For a day in your courts is better than a thousand outside of it. I would rather be a doorkeeper, stand at the threshold in the house of my God, 
than to dwell in the tents of wickedness. I would rather stand a doorkeeper at the threshold of the house of my God than to live at ease, live at ease in the tents of wickedness. One day spent in your house, this beautiful place of worship beats thousands of days spent on Green Island beaches. I would rather be the one who opens the door of the house of my God than to live in the tents of the sinful. And the passion says, for just one day of intimacy with you in your temple courts is like a thousand days of joy rolled into one. I'd rather stand at the threshold in front of the gate, beautiful, ready to go in and worship my God, than to live my life without you in the most beautiful house in the world. So this one day, just one day, a little bit soon, a little bit soon, just one day, just one day, a little bit soon, it's better than a thousand days of joy rolled up into one. Just one day, yeah. Just one day, yeah. It will be seen. It will be seen. Just one day, just one thing about you guys. Just one day, I'm going to go see with you. In your temple courts, it's like a thousand days of joy rolled up into just one day. Just one day of intimacy. It's better than a thousand days of joy rolled up into one. Just one day. Just one day of intimacy. And the rest. of sinful, sinful men and sinners, God, just one day is better than a thousand days in the tents of the sinful man. Still get so close to them, the gate called beautiful, just to be the door opener of the waiter, Lord, I'm just a whole little people in your presence, in your presence. This will be my lowly estate, but it will be so wonderful because so many people don't know what I can
the Lord God is in your sins. And he gives you grace and glory and help and faith to see what the Lord God is in your sins. And he gives you grace and glory and help and faith to see what the Lord God is in your sins. And he gives you grace and glory and help and faith to see what the Lord God is in your sins. And he gives you grace and glory and help and faith to see what the Lord God is in your sins. And he gives you grace and glory and help and faith to see what the Lord God is in your sins. Let's get it deep this way. 
verse 21, let's take a verse in the people. It says, O Lord of hosts, blessed is the man who trusts in you. O eternal one, commander of heaven's armies, how fortunate are those who trust you. Lord of virtues, blessed is the man that hopes in thee. Lord of hosts, the happiness of a man who trusts in thee. O Lord of hosts, blessed, fortunate, to be envied is the man who trusts in you, leaning on you, believing in you, committing all and confidently looking to you, and that without fear, without misgiving. And the passion says, O Lord of heaven's armies, what euphoria, state of excitement, fills those who forever trust in you.
Gateway will be down at the Gateway House of Prayer. It's called the Street Hub here in St. Louis. And uh, we'll be doing a live stream from 7 to 8. Uh, David and Margaret Ford will be there. And uh, I think Ben will be there as well. So, but anyway, we're going to keep going. Thank you. 